Feeding bluegill a pelleted feed is not necessary to maintain a balanced quality bass and brim pond. However, a supplemental feeding program can increase bluegill growth and reproduction, and indirectly it can increase largemouth bass growth. Bluegill quickly train to a feeding program and will gather around these feeding areas and be ready to eat. Largemouth bass will also start to hang around these feeding areas. So another advantage of a supplemental feeding program is simply to uh, attract fish, making them easier to catch for people of all ages. First, the bluegill must be trained to consume floating feed. Start by feeding brim several handfuls of feed at the same location about the same time every day. Once the brim are readily consuming the floating feed, provide no more than they can consume in about 15 minutes. Do not exceed the maximum daily feeding rate of 10 pounds per acre. Supplying more than this amount could lead to a fish kill due to oxygen depletion from the additional nutrients. Feeding should be done during the warmer months, such as March through November. However, a sinking pellet may be fed at a lower rate during the winter. Fish feed is normally available at feed and seed stores and farmers co-ops. Use a small fingerling catfish pelleted feed with at least 25% protein. It may also be referred to as game fish feed. The small size is necessary for the brim to easily consume the feed. Higher protein feeds, such as 32% or greater, are more costly and are not necessary since improved growth rates can be achieved with lower protein content. Keep your feed in a metal storage bin to prevent problems with rodents and moisture. Never use wet, moldy, or discolored feed. When weather conditions change rapidly, fish feeding behavior can do the same. However, when feeding slows or stops, it could also be an indication of poor water quality. Actively feeding fish is usually a sign that overall fish health is okay. When deciding on the daily feeding schedule, you must first consider what you're trying to achieve with the feeding program. If you simply enjoy watching fish eat, or you want to attract them to certain areas to make them easier to catch, then feeding them a few handfuls of feed once, maybe twice a day, about the same time is probably sufficient. However, if you want to increase bluegill growth or bass growth, then a more intensive feeding program is necessary. Bluegill growth and reproduction is different in each pond and is affected by many variables. Therefore, it is difficult to determine the exact feeding schedule that will improve the fish population in a particular pond. However, there are several guidelines to help you determine an intensive feeding schedule for your pond. Bluegill have small stomachs, therefore an intensive feeding schedule should consist of three or more feeding sessions per day. Also, multiple feeding locations are necessary on larger ponds to benefit the entire fish population. An intensive feeding program intended to maximize bluegill growth and reproduction should be dispensing feed near the maximum daily rate. Automatic fish feeders are usually necessary for this program. A wide variety of automatic feeders are readily available on the market today. Again, the amount of food per feeding session should not exceed what they can eat in about 15 minutes. An intensive supplemental feeding program can become very expensive, so when should it be considered? Well, a supplemental feeding program is just that, it's supplemental. So assuming you're already fertilizing your pond correctly and you're harvesting fish adequately, you might consider an intensive supplemental feeding program if one, you want to increase the catch rates of trophy sized bluegill, two, you want to enhance largemouth bass growth, or three, your pond cannot be fertilized effectively. The feeding program can help compensate for the lack of natural food production in the pond. And four, a feeding program can help reduce competition between the bluegill and other competitive forage species you might have in the pond, such as golden shiners or threadfin shad.